Everybody. I'm just out of bed it's 2 p.m. so I've just done a night shift so I went to bed after 7 a.m. I woke up at 2 actually I woke up at 11 when the postman came knocking and I had two lovely parcels which is what we're here for we're here for one of them anyway but I went back to bed and woke up at 2 so that's not ideal because I've only got today, tomorrow and the next day off. Then I'll be having to get up in the morning at about, I usually get up at quarter past five in the morning. So I need to turn it around, which means I should really have got up earlier today so that I can go to bed earlier today so that I can start getting ready for the day shift. But it's so difficult when you're tired and yeah, it doesn't matter. I will live, I will survive, I'll figure it out. But what we're here for today is an unboxing from Lush. So I've already opened up the box just to make it easier. I just thought I would show you what's in the box. Let's have a look. I'll give you the biggest thing first. Yognog shower gel. So I got the biggest, I think it's the biggest one, I think there might be one bigger, 550 grams, so that's a fair old size, but I've had the bath bomb before and I loved it last year, the smell of it is gorgeous and I had to get it, I've watched quite a few lush Christmas 2019 videos, hauls etc and everybody is loving this, so I had to get it. Oh. It smells absolutely delicious. It smells like butterscotch. It smells a little bit like biscuits. It could be like a caramel cheesecake. It's a tiny, tiny bit spicy. Like there's, oh hello sweetie. Um, almost like a biscuit that's got a little bit of spice to it with all this gorgeous caramel sauce and lots of cream, it's really creamy. It is utterly, utterly delicious. So when I look at the ingredients, there's maple syrup water, clove decoction, I've not heard that word before, decoction, but there's clove in there, so that's probably what's giving it the spice. A uh, clove bud oil, Ylang Ylang, almond oil, jojoba oil, a couple of other chemical names, but yeah, really loving this. Do you want to see what it looks like? Because it's a bit sparkly. It's yellowy gold and shimmery. Mm, I'm going to use that in a minute. Next one I got was cookie dough. And this is a body scrub. There's a cookie dough lip scrub and there's a cookie dough body scrub. I needed the body scrub. I've run out of body scrubs. And my skin following my holiday is all quite dry. And it really needs to be sloughed off. And I thought the sound of the smell of this, someone described it on a video. And I had to have it. It says, comforting vanilla absolute, mouth wateringly, Moorish pistachio oil and tempting almond essential oil. This scrub sure does take the biscuit. So, it says you take a generous handful and slowly stroke all over the body to create a creamy lava and sensational scrub. And it's got hazelnut oil, vitamin E and vanilla absolute amongst other things so that's how it looks when you open it up so it's obviously quite a thick formula because it's not moving it's like a little poo that's just been laid and it does smell delicious oh yeah so you can smell the almond and i love almond 
So that's almondy, but a little bit fruity, almost almost like it's an almond that just has that cherry almond facet. I've just taken the top off the poo to show you. I'm gonna pop that on there. Let's get messy, let's get messy with Lush products. So, oh. yeah, let's go back to smelling it. It smells like, mar a little bit like marzipan. It's almost like you're smelling the whole, a whole cake covered in marzipan and then icing, I white icing sugar on top. A little bit like your traditional Christmas cake or wedding cake type thing. It smells like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad I got this one. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to rub it in my hand now just because it's fun. And see. Yes, it's not too gritty. It's not massive chunks of grit. It doesn't feel too harsh. It's certainly not something I've put on my face. It's definitely too harsh for your face. But I think on my wobbly bits and all my flaky skin, I think it will be fabulous. And I absolutely love how it smells. It makes me want to eat all the sweets, all the sweets. And I don't eat sweets anymore because I'm doing a keto diet. But I do eat really nice things and I drink coffee with cream in it. Which I've got my uh, coffee mug there ready to go. I've just got to put my cream in it. But I like to I like to let it cool a little bit before I put the cream in. That's just preference. Yes. Okay, really, really happy with what I've got so far. So let's go for, I actually ordered two of these. Oh, he's got, he's got a packing peanut stuck between his legs, bless him. They packed everything brilliantly, absolutely stuffed with packing peanuts, all tightly packed, perfect, nothing's damaged. So here we have the Butter Bear Soap. Last year, I, I met and fell in love with the Butter Bear Shower Jelly. So it looked kind of like this, and it, it came in a little pot. And it was a, a jelly that you would just in the bath rub all over you and it worked as a shower gel and it was gorgeous and the smell was amazing and it left your skin so soft it had the most beautiful ingredients i think it was shea butter and cocoa butter and it had this lovely soft scent it was kind of creamy almost chocolatey a little bit like the charity pot actually if you know the scent of the charity pot from Lush. It was in that similar ballpark. Very, very comforting. I really loved it. They don't do that this year, but they do have these soaps with the same scent. So I had to, had to get two. Yeah, that's the scent. So it's, it's, I think there's honey in there. So it starts off, when you first smell it, you can smell honey. It smells honey-like and very creamy and sort of buttery. Smells actually like melted butter, and then a hint of uh, a soft white to white to milky chocolate. It's really nice. So I'm pleased to have that. I'll probably use it in the shower anyway in, instead of a shower gel. So I've got two of those. I'll show you the other seller. That's the other one. So let's put them together. There they are. On the back you can see where they've kind of fizzed in their moulds and they've kind of um, got a little bit of a bubbly texture, but that's fine by me. Oh, can't wait to get in my shower now. So, there's only two more things left. I didn't go wild. So this is, this is for when I have a bath. And when I say have a bath, I mean, have one installed because I haven't got one. So I didn't get any any other things that are just for the bath. I didn't get any bath bombs because I don't have a bath at the moment. I'm getting one installed at the end of November. So at the moment I just have the shower. I have a big shower unit and it's gonna take that out, put a bath in. There's already a shower in the wall. Psst. 
and then I'm just going to have like um, a tap uh, a tap shower as well so a, sh a, a shower that I can pull out and if I wanted to do it in the bath do my hair or whatever um, so until then I'm going to have to wait so that's why I didn't get loads of bath stuff because you're supposed to use Lush as quickly as you can you want it fresh and that's when you get the, the most benefits from all the lovely fresh ingredients so I only got this little oh this little pony look <laughs> So this is a bath oil. It may not look like a bath oil. It looks like a bait. It looks like a, a cheap toy for a child. But it's a bath oil. So you pop that. It's a naked product. So you pop that into your bath, and it will melt, and you'll get all the the lovely oils. They'll all melt. It doesn't smell. I don't love it as much as I love the other things I've shown you. It smells just. Lem maybe like lemon and orange I think it's mandarin actually it's got mandarin in it I've got actually I've got the information on this one here on my so it's called Dala Horse D-A-L-A -A, Dala Horse and it has shea butter apricot kernel oil almond essential oil and I'm pretty certain I, on the video that I watched that made me want to get this, was a mention of mandarin as well. And it does smell orangey. It smells orangey lemony. And a bit fizzy, like an orangey, orange and lemon sherbet. I don't really get the almond, but maybe that will come out in the bath. I hope so, because, yeah, almonds. So I'm down to my last thing, and I think I might have saved the best till last, but I mean they're all pretty good. I'm kind of excited about all of it. Snowflake body lotion. Snowflake body lotion. I got uh, the 225 gram, so that's a nice big size. I've got maybe too many body lotions from various brands and smells. And I don't get through them that quickly because sometimes you can't wear a strong smelling body lotion with a particular perfume that you choose. So I can end up going without body lotion even though I need body lotion because this, I can't find a smell that's going to match. Or if I'm reviewing a fragrance, I don't want my body lotion to detract from what I'm smelling. So often when I'm doing a review, I have to skip the body lotion. So I do need to buy an unscented body lotion. but. We're going off topic. Snowflake is an almond scented body lotion. Oh yes. And this does smell like marzipan. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit out of the lid and pop that on this hand. So there's the texture. It's semi thick so it's almost like a body butter rather than a lotion when I tried this in the shop I did find it a little bit greasy on my skin but I didn't care because I love how it smells so much and it might be that I overdid it I might have put a bit too much on because this isn't this isn't too bad yeah it's not too greasy but it is quite thick so it's Similar texture to Charity Pop, which I also find a touch too greasy at times, but it's a really great moisturiser. Mm. Yeah, so it does smell very much like marzipan. It's quite soft though. Some of the body lotions can really kick up quite a strong smell. But this one doesn't feel like it's too strong. So I've, I bought this one because it will go with quite a lot of my fragrances that do have the almond note in them. So that's why I got it. And yeah, it's made my skin really nice and soft. I'll tell you what it says. A lightweight cream of sweet scented almond, soothing rose water and comforting benzoin to have you skipping through a winter wonderland. I don't think I'll be skipping anywhere at winter. I'm a summer girl. 
but I'll give it a go. I love benzoin as well. It's another very much uh, loved ingredient by me in perfumes. Benzoin is a, a lovely, sweet resin that's often used in amber combinations. Can be a bit powdery. It's a bit vanillic, but it's got its own scent profile and it's really, really nice. So in here, there's almond milk, apricot kernel oil, cocoa butter, rose water, uh, I don't know what that is, lily butter, uh, there's some perfume, fair trade almond oil, cedarwood oil, coriander seed oil, sandalwood oil, almond essential oil, tincture of benzoin, and some other stuff. It says, reminiscent of the first snow of the year, dive into this glistening pot of marzipan scented magic and get it all over your body. Thanks Lush, I'm gonna do that. So that is my Lush haul. Let me know what you think. Do you have any of these items and how do you like them? What do you think I would like based on my love of those particular scents, the marzipans, the almonds, the chocolates, the caramels, what do you think I would also love from Lush? I had to bring you a little update. So here you are in my bathroom. My little bathroom is really small. So I'm at the door. I've got a wooden door. I might paint that maybe at some point, but I've got a lot more important things to worry about. So here's the entrance to my bathroom and it's tiny just have a big mirror on the wall there, a uh, radiator, little loo, windowsill and then this is a shower as it is, shower head coming out the wall, big glass screen and that is really it. There's my sink and I've put I put my soap, my bare soap, in this cute little teacup thing. Let's talk about what I just used because I really liked everything. So uh, let's talk about Yog Nog. In the shower, once you actually have it on your skin and you're rubbing it in, it's really soft, makes your skin feel quite soft and the smell is really yummy. Almost has a hint of lavender or something as well as all the yumminess. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Bit like spicy biscuits, bit like caramel, really, really loved it. And when I walked back in the bathroom about 20 minutes after my shower, I could still smell yognog in the air. So it scented the bathroom lovely. The cookie dough, again, I really loved it. It wasn't very harsh. Um, I felt like I needed to use a fair bit. And what I did was I turned the shower off and then I kind of rubbed it into my damp skin. So I didn't wash away too much. And... It was actually not as harsh as I expected. It was just the perfect level really for a body scrub and it's left my skin really beautiful and soft and the smell again is amazing. The almond and the just the sweet sort of caramel chocolatey smell. It's just beautiful. So I really, really like that. And then our butter bear soap, which uh, is there. So that's what it looks like after one use. I just used him a little bit before Yog Nog. Mm, it smells really lovely. Just creamy, honey, caramelly, smooth, milky. So nice. And didn't feel like it dried my skin too much. So really like him. He's lovely. I do wish the old... Um, Shower jellies were available though. I absolutely loved that. It was so nice to use. But I'm happy with the soap. Really, really good. That's it then. Thank you for watching. Bye.